be honest. Have you ever seen something this big strapped to the back of a truck? Yeah, I didn't think so. Companies spend hundreds of thousands of dollars transporting their priceless cargo from A to B. But sometimes moving these colossal objects without any hiccups is far easier said than done. When that cargo consists of the world's largest mirror, or Earth's heaviest animals, or an entire nuclear reactor that could cause havoc in an instant, then the rule book is thrown out the window, and engineers, logistics officers, and construction workers are forced to improvise. Ready to check out the most epic transportation operations in history? Let's do it. Transporting enormous cargo is never a straightforward task, and Samsung Saudi Arabia realized that firsthand. They were required to transport a 1,048-ton piece of equipment from its factory in Daman to a petrochemical plant in Shaiba. Something that heavy brings significant risk any day. But when the cargo in question is a nuclear reactor, the threat of danger and catastrophe skyrockets. Sitting on two hydraulic trailers and pushed by 10 powerful trucks, the team of 18 staff finally completed the 671-mile journey, leaving treacherous desert hills and narrow winding roads in their wake. The suspension of the trailers had to be constantly adjusted to ensure safe weight distribution, which made the journey ever more time-consuming. However, since nuclear reactors like this cost around $750 million, slow and steady was the better approach. The operating costs of each of the 10 trucks alone would have totaled $16.90 per mile, or $11,340 for the entire journey, presumably with tens of thousands of dollars in insurance protection as well. From nuclear power to renewable energy, shifting the U.S. power grid to 100% renewable sources over the next 10 years is estimated to cost $4.5 trillion. A sizable piece of that, of course, would go to setting up wind turbines. Because while they look like teeny tiny windmills from afar, make no mistake, these things are huge. Each blade is 145 feet long and weighs over 10 tons. That's about two-thirds as long as a 747's wingspan, and double the weight of an African elephant. Clearly, these blades are not easy to move around. No wonder most of the commercial-scale turbines cost roughly $3 million to install. Add almost 50 k for annual operations and maintenance costs, and that number really adds up. That's why specialized trucks have been built to transport the blades. Even the slightest dent would affect the aerodynamics, potentially resulting in millions of lost revenue in the long run. So, as we've established, transporting oversized cargo, whether they risk a nuclear catastrophe or not, can be extremely complicated. But here's the thing. So long as you've got enough genius engineers racking their brains together, with the help of modern computer software, it is possible to create a plan of action. Computer sketchings can outline any piece of the road that may be too challenging or identify bridges that won't support the weight. Any conceivable issue can be planned for when it comes to stationary objects. But what happens when the stationary object is, uh, alive? Have you ever wondered how 1,400-pound African elephants made it all the way across the world? It's a mighty journey, that's for sure. Thanks to an announcement from Zimbabwe's Parks and Wildlife Management Authority, now we know. Once all the paperwork is ready, including of course that mandatory $50 expression of interest form, the elephant is put in a container and moved onto a flatbed truck via forklift. From there, it's onward to the airport where colossal cargo planes await, none bigger than the Antonov. But we'll get to that later. Pilots, truck drivers, forklift operators, and zookeepers are all involved in the transport, which can take up to two days and cost thousands of dollars in fuel costs. These beautiful creatures don't come cheap either. To give you an idea, Zimparks made nearly $1 million when it sold 24 baby elephants to a Chinese safari park in 2016. Have you ever moved house and seriously struggled to decide how to fit the mirror in the truck without breaking it? Well, what if that mirror was 100 times the size and bigger than your entire house in the first place? Back in 2003, multiple 27-foot diameter mirrors that formed part of the world's most powerful optical telescope were transported from the University of Arizona in Tucson to Emerald Peak, a 10,480-foot-high observation point high atop the mountains. Following five months of intense planning and preparation, a team of engineers, law enforcement, heavy haul specialists, and scientists spent two days moving the two mirrors, which were valued at $11 million each. The cargo sat on a 48-wheel carrier, each of which had its own hydraulic system. Coordinated correctly, it would ensure that the mirrors remained balanced throughout the 30-mile-long winding road. While we can gather that the insurance would have been awfully expensive, potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars, no amount of money could make up for that seven years of bad luck. Thankfully, all went to plan. Have a look at this mountain of cargo. Can you even tell what it actually is? We'll give you a hint. 
they can weigh thousands of tons, the most expensive units cost over a billion dollars each, and they're usually slyly moving through the water. It's a… any guesses? No, submarine. The easier that submarines glide through the water, the more care that needs to be taken on land. That's why the Australian Marine Complex has created a unique system to transport Australian Navy submarines in and out of the ocean. Rather than build a giant pulley system or a ramp, they built an entire new dock. Not just any dock, a floating height-adjustable dock. Once the submarine is above the water level, the floating dock is maneuvered to connect with the main dock, and then locked into place. From there, three transporter rows are slid underneath, combining for a whopping 516 wheels. The entire 10-year project began in the mid-2000s. It created 3,000 jobs and cost the company around $174 million. Around that same time, they invested another $35 million in maintenance to ensure that they'd continue to be chosen as the main Navy client. Back to the roads for now. The oversized load trucking industry has its own set of complexities and licenses. In the USA, for example, each state has a dedicated agency devoted to establishing regulations, licenses, and associated costs for driving overweight loads. This is the Muon G2 storage ring the subject of one of the most complex transport operations in trucking history. The massive $25 million electromagnet had to be moved 3,200 miles, all in one piece, and couldn't be tilted or twisted more than a few degrees. Just the tiniest imbalance would irreparably damage the complex wiring within the magnet. In the end, accounting for road and sea travel, its shipping costs leveled out at around $3 million. Burning a hole in NASA's pockets, the Space Shuttle Endeavour, the successor to the Challenger, cost approximately $1.7 billion. A piece of machinery with that kind of otherworldly price tag is not to be thrown around, which is why it was treated with utmost delicacy when transported from Los Angeles International Airport to the California Science Center back on October 12, 2012. Thousands of locals washed on as the infamous spacecraft cruised down the streets, straddling its 160-wheel carrier. Considering that the Endeavour spanned the equivalent length of a six-lane highway, not only was it difficult to move, but mighty expensive. How much are we talking here? Try close to $10 million, all of which was covered by donations, none from taxpayer dollars. That covered the carrier and the wages of hundreds of the staff members who needed to regularly check Endeavour's balance who pruned any tree along the way, and who ultimately ensured that it arrived without a scratch. In 2014, this mammoth-sized dump truck, which is known as the Belaz 75710, officially became the largest of its kind to ever be built in the world. It's over 65 feet long, 32 feet wide, and 26 feet high. But those are just numbers. See for yourself. Next to a car or a human, this thing is enormous. At 7.5 million bucks a pop, these construction behemoths boast 4,600 horsepower, eight giant wheels, and a payload capacity of 450 tons. So typically, they're the ones doing the moving. However, it's not exactly possible to have one of these bad boys driving down the highway, especially since it would block all the lanes and it wouldn't exceed 40 miles per hour. When the Balaz needs to relocate, they call in the big rigs. The cost of running a truck hefty enough to transport something like the Balaz isn't cheap either, taking into account tires, fluids, and parts replacement. Over $20,000 per year in maintenance isn't unheard of. From the world's largest dump truck, how about we jet off into the skies and check out the biggest cargo plane, okay, nay, the biggest plane in general to have ever made it off the ground. Folks, allow us to introduce you to the Goliath of the skies, Antonov AN-225 Maria. The Antonov's wingspan is 290 feet, about the same as seven buses. It sports six engines, 16 pairs of landing gear wheels, is certified to carry up to 868 passengers, and is big enough to eat other planes for breakfast. While it can transport people, it is first and foremost a cargo plane. Over its tenure, Antonov has been responsible for delivering medical supplies, military tanks, and plenty more all over the world. Hiring this colossal flyer will set you back $30,000 per hour. But you can't just bring your own pilot. Those brave enough need to be expertly trained to fly this unique $250 million transporter. Have you ever seen a silo on a truck? Well, you're about to. Pretty insane, isn't it? Just like the city slickers, farmers sometimes need to move property too. But if they need to bring their 100-foot-plus silo, it's easier said than done. Even if they're buying new equipment, the manufacturer still needs to find a way to ship it to the buyer. These cylindrical storage units vary upwards from $50,000 for the smaller ones to over a million for the more grand, so as you'd imagine, the cost to relocate one from place to place varies by size as well. 
But when you move them, even when you install them, be careful. Things can and do go wrong. In 2014, a concrete silo collapsed at the Tappan Zee Bridge in New York. The bridge's construction company claimed that the silo collapsed due to a design defect and filed suit against Maxon Industries for over $25 million. What's the biggest thing you've ever seen driving down the road? Let us know in the comments. And you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.